In college, I was a chemistry major. So when I was a freshman in, in college, I took a, you know, my first chemistry class. I remember the professor said, oh, we have a really easy chemistry test. You know, this test was so easy, and I, like, failed it. And then I worked really hard in the class, and eventually I got an A-. minus. And then I took a chemical engineering course, and I, I said, I, I don't want to do chemistry anymore. I really want to do chemical engineering, and it all kind of made sense. When I was a chemical engineering major, I, I found a professor, which I was an undergraduate student, and he wanted someone to do research. And it was taking natural gas and trying to make liquid fuels from nat natural gas through a process called fissiotrosynthesis. And I thought it was just the coolest thing that you could take you know, natural gas and make liquid fuels from the natural gas. You know, from that moment, I still remember that moment, I said, that's exactly what I want to do. I think we have you know, four really major goals, and that's to develop the technology to make cheap renewable gasoline, cheap renewable diesel fuel, cheap renewable jet fuel, and cheap renewable chemicals. So in the lab today, we have technologies and approaches to make all these same products we make from crude oil, we make from natural gas, and we make from all the same chemicals and all the same fuels that you can make from them today. And then there's new products we make as well. So we study the, the catalytic chemistry, the fundamental catalytic chemistry that evolves in the process. We try to design new types of catalysts and new technologies as well. Chemical engineering really is central for the whole field of renewable energy. You know, they show us how you can efficiently convert crude oil, natural gas into a range of fuels and a range of products. And the future chemical engineers are just going to be just as important to the renewable energy industry to show how we can convert our renewable resources into different fuels and chemicals.